For this lesson, you need to open the sample file Sales Analysis from your Sample Files folder. This worksheet looks rather bland, but we're going to use the powerful Borders and Lines feature to make the worksheet more readable. To begin with, I'll add a little colour to the worksheet. So I'll select cells B2 to D3, then Home on the ribbon in the Styles group Cell Styles to bring up the Cell Styles gallery. I think I'll have a slightly darker green colour in these cells. So I'll select the 40% Accent 6 background colour. For each of these subheadings, by category, by month and by country, I think I'll have a slightly lighter shade of green. So I'll select cells B4 to D4, hold down the control key and B9 to D9, and still with control key held, B14 to D14. Once again, I'll bring up the Cell Styles Gallery, that's Home tab on the ribbon, Styles and Cell Styles, and this time I'll have a lighter shade of green. 20% Accent 6 looks good. I think I could still improve cells B2 to D3, so I'll select those cells, and then Home on the ribbon, Styles, Cell Styles, and I'll use one of my favourite styles, the Heading 4 style. When I click Heading 4, notice that I still retain the same green background colour, but I've now changed the font to the Heading 4 font. Now it's time to add those borders, and I've found that when you add borders to a worksheet, it's very useful to switch off the grid lines. Then you can see exactly how the table will look when it's printed on paper. Now there are two ways to hide the grid lines from the ribbon. The first is on the View tab, and you can see that in the Show group there's a Grid Lines checkbox, and this can be used to switch the grid lines on and off. And this command is also repeated on the Page Layout ribbon, where in the Sheet Options group you have the same option, View, to switch the grid lines on and off. It's exactly the same command, just repeated in a different place. So I'll leave the grid lines switched off, and to begin, I'll draw a solid border around the entire range. So I'll select cell B2 to D18, then the Home tab on the ribbon, in the Font group, the Borders drop-down, and because I want a border all the way around the range, I'll select Outside Borders. Next, I'd like borders between cells C2 and D3, so I'll select cells C2 to D3. Once again, Home tab on the ribbon, Font Group and the Borders drop-down, and this time I'll select All Borders. Now I'd like black lines at the top and bottom of the By Category, By Month and By Country subheaders, so I'll select B4 to D4. Hold down the control key, select B9 to D9, and with the control key still held down, B14 to D14. Then I'll click the Borders drop down again, and select Top and Bottom Border. Now I'll apply a slightly more interesting border to the white areas on the screen. That's cells B5 to D8, hold down control, B10 to D13, and still with control held down, B15 to D18. This time, I'll use the Format Cells dialog, so I'll right-click inside the selected range and select Format Cells from the shortcut menu. Because I'm working with borders, I want to click the Border tab, so I click the Border tab, and you can see that the Format Cells dialog offers many more options for borders, and one of them is a dotted line. So I'll click the dotted line in the style group, and then because I want the borders inside the cells, I'll click the large inside icon. And then when I click OK, you can see that I have those dotted line borders I wanted. But now I'm going to change my mind and want a solid line to the left and right of the values in column C. 
So I'll select cells C5 to C8, hold down control, C10 to C13, control still held down, C15 to C18. Then Home tab on the ribbon, Font Group, Borders drop down, and first of all the left border, and then the right border. Now I could probably make this table look even better, but I think I've done enough for the moment. It's certainly good enough to be incorporated in a ritzy PowerPoint presentation or within a Word document, where presentation is important. Before closing this lesson, I want to show you an alternative way of drawing borders. Some users find this faster and easier, especially when the borders are quite complex. So let's remove the borders we've applied to the range. I'll click the drop-down arrow to the right of the Undo button, and I'll go all the way to the last Borders command. And when I click, all of the borders are removed. I'm now going to draw the borders. To do that, it's Home on the Ribbon, Font Group, and the Borders drop-down. And this time, I'll click Draw Border. And when I do, notice that lots of dots have appeared on the worksheet, and the mouse cursor has changed to a pencil. I'll begin by drawing that solid border all of the way around the range. So I'll click on the little dot at the top left corner, and then move down to the dot on the bottom right corner, and release the mouse. Now I'd like the lines between cells C2 and D3. So I'll draw a vertical line here, a horizontal line here, a horizontal line here, and a vertical line here. Now I'd like those solid lines at the top and bottom of the By Category, By Month, and By Country subheaders. So I'll draw a line here, 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 and here. Next I'd like those vertical solid lines to the left and right of the cash values in column C. So I'll draw a vertical line here and here, here and here, and here and here. Now I want those dotted lines inside the cells. To do that, I'll need to change the line style. So I'll click the Borders drop-down again, and for Line Style, I'll select the dotted line. And now I can draw those horizontal dotted borders. That's the Category section, now the Month section, and now the Country section. And when I've finished drawing the borders, I'll need to put things back to normal. To do that, I'll click the Borders drop-down again, and I'll click Draw Border one more time. All that remains now is to save your work, and I'm going to save with the new name Sales Analysis 1. And as usual, I'll save to the folder above my Sample Files folder. I click the Save button, and you've now completed Lesson 411, Add Borders and Lines.